It's late Monday night in Cairo, and Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi has apparently eased his claim on extrajudicial powers through a spokesman he announced that only acts of sovereignty will be free of judicial review. The announcement comes after a day of rioting, significant stock market losses, and a judiciary that was threatening to strike. Joining us now with The View from Cairo is The Post's Michael Birnbaum. Uh, Michael, good to have you. Uh, what was the argument anyway for Morsi assuming these powers in the first place? Well, Morsi's argument all along since he announced these decrees late on Thursday evening has been essentially that the judiciary in Egypt was uh, uh, comprised largely of Mubarak loyalists who had been interfering in the country's development toward democracy. Um, there have been a number of occasions in the past couple months when the constitutional court here in Egypt has indeed announced kind of surprising rulings. In, in one instance, it dissolved the parliament uh, that happened in June, and it looked as though in the coming weeks it was going to um, potentially dissolve the body that was writing the constitution that has been plagued by a lot of infighting and disagreements about what role religion was going to have in the future Egypt. Where is the U.S. in all this? They did say that they were concerned, but they, they didn't um, uh, come out in a big way against what Morsi did. Um, and this, of course, all happened on Thanksgiving. Um, so today, Monday, is the first real business day since, uh, since the events, and we'll see if there's anything more from the Americans. Um, they do seem surprised and upset, but at the same time, Morsi had just turned out to be a, a quite a good negotiating partner with Israel, with Hamas, the group that runs Gaza, and with the Americans, and the Americans had been very happy about that. So it seems as though, for the time being, they're cautious to come out too strongly. Finally, what's tomorrow going to look like? There were supposed to be these dueling protests, but maybe now that's changed? The Muslim Brotherhood has called off its, protest, its demonstration for tomorrow, saying that it wanted to make sure there weren't any clashes. They've said they've postponed it. Um, not quite sure till when, but it now seems as though there aren't going to be dueling groups on the streets, at least not large, you know, thousands and thousands of people who very much disagree with each other and are separated from each other by just a couple of miles. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. The opposition protest, it'll be interesting to see how many people turn out. A lot of um, liberals are, are worried that there aren't going to be you know, the streets aren't going to be filled with millions, that there will be a lot of people, but not so many as to put major pressure on Morsi in the coming days. Okay, Michael Birnbaum in Cairo tonight. We look forward to your reporting uh, tomorrow on all that. Thanks so much. Thanks.